Time for another edition of Ask the Boss. Today we're joined by Pompey boss Steve Cottrell. Thanks for having us, Steve. You're welcome. In your very tidy office, might I add. <laughs> Do you know how this works? I've got a funny feeling I'm going to find out. Yes, I'm going to explain. People out there in the land of computers have been tweeting in questions, especially for you. Right? And I've gone through them. I've picked what I like to think are the best. I'm going to ask you those questions very shortly. You, at the end, are going to have to decide which one you think is the best question, because the best question will receive a pair of championship <coughs> tickets to a game of their choosing, which is not to be sniffed at, is it, Steve? For sure. A.C. Crager wants to know, if you had to have one of your play, if you had to choose one of your players as a son, who would it be? Um, well, I think probably Liam Lawrence gets called son of most of the time. Oh, really? In the, in the is, he, is he the well, golden boy, is he? They always say if they're going to mess up, be with Liam when you mess up because you get away <laughs> with it. So, um, uh, I, obviously the lads seem to think I think a lot of him. I probably think, not to dismiss him, but um, I think one of the nicest lads I think I've ever met in football and, and he's in our dressing room is a lad called Joel Ward. So, um, probably if I had to pick one, it might be him. He's going to get stick, isn't he? For he's sure he stick is, yeah. But he, he'll be able to stand up to it, Joel, oh, to Broad be shoulders. Fair. Broad sure. shoulders. Tyler and the Thud asks, if you could cast any footballer to be in a West End musical, who would it be? Oh, any footballer? Yep. We've got a few nutters here, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but they've got to sing. They've got to be able to sing, Steve. Well, we've got a few, we've got a few who think they can sing. Probably have to go for Horidison. He's a nutter. He could be in a West End musical. He could, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what West End musical. He, ha he thinks he can sing. He likes doing his little Elvis numbers. That's been out a few times on really? Sky, that. Yeah. He likes doing his Elvis impressions, so i would probably have to go for Herman. Did you ever have to do any songs for initiation <laughs> as a player or a manager? <laughs> oh, God, I knew you were going to bring this one up. When I went to Notts County, I got stitched up by Lee Hughes, the one and only Lee Hughes. And uh, I remember going in the first day, and it was our first away game, and they said that um, everybody had to sing a song. So I said, OK. So on the way down on the bus, I was really nervous, you know, and <laughs> they carried a glass with them and they kept ding ding in the glass. And every time the ding ding comes at dinner time, you have to get up. So they were saying it, it, it has to come after dinner. So you, throughout your dinner, you know, you're choking and you can't quite so swallow your food and everything. So I thought, right, you know, dinner was quarter past six. I thought, right, I'm going to burst through the doors at quarter past six and just blast something out. And I did, and I did go an underground by the jam. And it was fantastic because the lads joined in. <laughs> so after I got out of the way and I got a bit of a round of applause for it, and God, I don't know how I did it. I was so, so nervous doing that. And afterwards, you know, when you sort of calmed down, I sort of turned around and said, well, you know, who did you do using? And he said, well, I didn't sing. I said, well, I thought, I thought you all sang. He said, no, none of us have sung. We just wanted to hear you. So, uh, so that summed up the group I had there at Notts County. Who were, they were a fantastic bunch of boys, but... Um, <laughs> They turned me over on that one for sure. Stitched up, stitched up. When David Norris is on the bench, do you ever turn to your coaches and say, hey, let's chuck Norris on? <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. That's mine, Steve. That is my question. I apologise. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, if that ever happens, would when you he, uh, drop when, me a text and let me know? When he's sub, I'll try that one. <laughs> Swingnut81 wants to know, can you ask Steve if I can have my spider pants back? I lent them to him at Cheltenham in 2002. He's got no chance. I sleep in them every night, tell him. <laughs> spider pants. Yeah, just tell him I sleep in them every night. There's no chance of him getting them back. We, uh, we've got one more question for you, Steve, and it's from uh, Robbie Knox, a uh, cameraman. Okay. Um, I'm going to get him to do one for every manager. I think okay. he, he comes up with some good questions. Yeah. And this is a good one. Robbie wants to know, what's your favourite service station? Um, so I've got quite strong opinions on this thing. My favourite service mm. station, well, probably from me here where I live, geography wise as well. Yeah, yeah. Has to be Roundham's probably. Is it good? Well, you just get a good coffee there. Good coffee, that's what you want in it. Good Costa. Yeah. The girl goes in there, she knows, two shots, yeah. extra hot, topped up, no froth. Job done. Yeah. Roundham's. Yeah. Warwick. I feel as though something's coming here. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> Warwick. Warwick's one of my favourites. It's, it, it, okay. just, it's got a nice atmosphere. It's quite... okay. Robbie, where was the one that you went to? Westmoreland in what? Cumbria. In the Lake District. It is a sight to behold. It is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. Incredible. Like the farm shop. Farm shop, like a lake out round the back. And obviously, you know, in the Lake District. It's just, I mean, you, you don't really want to get back in your car. Okay. After a stop on the stairs. Okay. Um, 
Yeah. Why do I think something else There's is no, coming? Nothing else is coming. <laughs> you know, and that that concludes today's Ask the Boss, Steve. Okay. I think you you how do, how do you think it went? Well, I hope it went well, you know. I, there's nothing more you can do other than ask the que- answer the questions, <laughs> you know, honestly. You did that, you did that, and, and, and you were excellent. 